I did something really epic with my life a while ago, and I figured out the process of what it takes. I found myself in early 2001. My mom had just passed away from cancer, and I was fatter than I ever had been. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally, I was in a rough place. And the day before Thanksgiving, 2001, I went to NDSU, my college's wellness center, and I got on a treadmill, and for the first time in my life, I ran a mile. I was sweating au jus and gravy. It was pretty nasty. Uh, it was all quiet there. I was the only person in the gym, <clears throat> but I got after it. And next thing I knew, I kept going back and I kept going back. And one mile turned into two and two turned into three. And on my way, nine months later, I ran the very first race of my life. I ran a marathon. I ran 26.2 miles. Well, I walked a little bit of it, but I ran most of the marathon. And I say all this because... I think a lot of us are looking at our goals. We're looking at something that we want to do in our life and it's epic and it's way out there and it appears to be pretty difficult to get there. But if you want to be that successful, if you want to do something really big with your life, it starts with one mile, one day, one thing. How do you win? Well, you win the day. You figure out what is that one thing I need to do today that's going to progress me a little bit closer to where I want to get to. I don't know what you want with your life, but I want something epic. And it appears that the distance between where I am and where I need to go is this large gain that's hard to get. But incrementally, daily commitments, compounding that over time will get you really, really close to your goal, if not far succeed, succeeding it, far exceeding it. Look at that. I'm so distracted by the excitement here that I can't even get my words there. But I want you to know and understand that if you want to do something big and epic with your life, it starts with the first step.